Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist. I'd like to tell you a little bit more today about Adobe Presenter 8, specifically about scenes and templates in the new Presenter 8. Let's take a look. So as you can see, I've got a copy of PowerPoint open and Adobe Presenter 8 runs inside of PowerPoint. There you can see my Presenter tab is open inside of PowerPoint. Now with the Presenter tab open, I'm able to actually work on various projects. Let's take a look at what can happen with the new scenes inside Presenter 8. I'll select a blank slide and then I'll just come up here to the top and insert a scene. Now I can choose from a wide range of scenes that are available out of the box. You will need to install your scenes as add-ons using the content folder in your DVD or install your scenes from the download where you can get additional download files. You'll see a prompt to download files from scene folder uh, if you have a case where you haven't already done so. Now I'll choose this office scene. It looks pretty good. I'll open up that conference room and drop that office scene directly onto my slide. I'm also able to add other elements like characters and other things right into my project. And in that way, I can build a really interesting scene just by clicking in and using some of the default assets that are available inside of the new Presenter 8. Now, in addition to that, there are also a number of templates that are available for you to use to build your projects. Let's take a look at how the templates work. First, we'll need to create a new project. Just click on File and then click on New. You'll notice over here on the, on the top that you'll find New from Existing. I want you to click New from Existing and then here under New from Existing, we'll choose Documents and then Adobe, Presenter Assets, and then PowerPoint Templates. Remember, these will be installed from the Content folder on the DVD with content, or if you downloaded the materials, you'll need to download the eLearning Suite assets and the presenter assets that are separate download. Now choose any of these templates and go ahead and bring it in to create a new project. Now, templates actually give you a number of different layouts, and you can see that there are actually more than a hundred different layouts that are common in eLearning projects all provided inside of this template. The cool thing is that they're distinctly separate from themes. So let's say, for example, that I wanted the design of my particular project to be somewhat different. No problem, because themes come with designs. So if you look at the default designs in uh, PowerPoint 2010, for example, you'll find this beautiful green butterfly theme. Notice when I put the butterfly theme on, automatically I get that new theme applied to my entire template-based project. So I can have all of the layouts that I want and I can instantly modify them, create really cool new looks to them just by altering which theme they're associated with. So really fun, really cool. I encourage you to take a look at the new scenes and templates inside Adobe Presenter 8.